A bill that could abolish the death penalty here in Nevada is moving its way through the state legislature. And now a Las Vegas woman is pushing back after her daughter's horrific murder nearly 10 years ago. Sasha Loftus shares her message to lawmakers. Alyssa Otrumba's mother says she's been fighting for justice since 2011. Now she wants everyone to understand how hard it is for families like hers. Grief is a lot like chronic pain, and um, it's, it's always there. Nearly 10 years after her daughter's murder, Jennifer Otremba describes how her entire world has changed. You never expect to leave your house with your child laying on the floor doing homework to, you know, what they found. 15-year-old Alyssa Otremba was walking home in 2011 when she was abducted, sexually assaulted, and stabbed more than 80 times. Her body was then burnt and left just a few hundred feet from her Northwest Valley home. What my mistakes have caused. Javier Rigetti was found guilty of capital murder and sentenced to death in 2017. Now Jennifer is fighting to keep that sentence on the table after the Nevada Assembly voted to abolish the death penalty during this year's legislative session. Death by execution has failed in Nevada. Similar bills were introduced in 2017 and 2019, but AB 395 is the only one that's gotten this far. I was just a normal mom raising my children, and someone that I don't know came in and took one. That's why Jennifer hopes her story encourages lawmakers to reconsider and understand the importance of this kind of closure. He didn't consider Alyssa's life that day. So why should we consider his? Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. Now, AB 395 would need to pass on the Senate floor and then go to Governor Sisolak's desk to be signed into law. Governor Sisolak has said he's mostly opposed to capital punishment, but that he does have a hard time with the complete abolishment of the death penalty.